Have you ever wondered how you can stop translating in your head and think directly in the language you're learning, or let's say English? If your answer was yes, then keep watching so you can know how to overcome this. And hey, there will be a giveaway at the end of this video, so keep watching so you can know what it is. Hello, this is Hanari and welcome to Hanari Translates channel. If you are here from TikTok or Instagram, then you already know me. If not, make sure to follow me there. I'll leave the links to my profiles in the description box. As a languages learner myself and as a polyglot, I can tell that translating in our heads is a very common thing among learners when trying to speak a language that they are learning, let's say English. But as a languages instructor, I can also tell that this isn't the best way towards fluency. So before we get started with our tips and, you know, practices for thinking in English when you want to speak, let's see why it is not preferable to think in your native language when you want to speak English. First thing, you're just doing an unnecessary step and you're just tiring your brain doing an interpreter job. I used to be an interpreter and I know it is not that easy. So like, why even bother if you are a student or if you are learning a language? Second, you're making the process slower towards fluency. Translating in your head isn't gonna help you as you imagine to, to reach fluency. <laughs> to reach fluency. <laughs> it could be that you know, you find it useful and effective at the very early stages of learning a language. But when you reach an intermediate level, you'll find yourself stuck in that level for longer than you've imagined. So if you're stuck in that stage, it could be one of the reasons why. Another thing is, even if you use grammatically correct expressions when translating in your head and speaking in English, some of them may sound very unnatural to native speakers. Let me give you an example. Let's say you are at a coffee shop with your friend. You want to pay for, it for their coffee, but they said, no, thank you. But you still want to pay for their coffee. If your native language is Arabic, like mine, I would, if I want to translate it from Arabic, I would say, which is, I don't accept it in English, but it sounds very harsh to native speakers. What you would say in English in this case is, no, I insist. See the very difference translating in your head can make when you speak English. And don't forget that when you are speaking in a foreign language and you are translating in your head at the same time, it can slow down your ability to respond and you will lose the flow of the conversation in this case, which is not what we want, right? So now let's get back to our main point, how to think in English and stop translating in your head. Number one is name things and actions, describe actions around you. So every time you are in a place, practice describing these actions that you can see or to make it easier, you can describe the things you can see. This can help you learn and practice in context, which will make it easier to talk about such things when you are having an actual conversation. Let's see an example on this. I'm sitting on a comfy chair. I'm plugging in the charger. I'm drinking my coffee through a straw. Number two is to use a monolingual dictionary. Whenever you come by a new word or a new expression, never translate it into your native language. If you do this, you are pushing your brain to think about it in your native language when you need it and then to give you its equivalent in English. Instead, look for the definition of the word in English and this works even if you forget the word when speaking. You can, you know, you'll be able to explain it because you already read the definition. So it's not hard even if you forget the main word. You have the definition in English so you can express yourself better even if you forget words. 
And let's take an example on this. Let's pretend I don't know what does hiking mean. So instead of, you know, translating it and get some meanings will get lost in translation, I would just, you know, Google hiking meaning or use a website like Merriam Webster or so. Uh, so I have this meaning the activity of going for long walks especially in the country or the woods i can also go to the images section and see some images to link it to my mind and or like to my memory and for this we're gonna talk about number three link new words to emotions and pictures actually i love how easy it is to understand the meaning of a new word just by looking at its picture. So I personally use this method with my students whenever they come by a new word. And let's say my student doesn't know what does the word kettle mean. So instead of, you know, spending a minute or so translating or even giving them definitions, I would simply go to the images section on Google and search kettle. And they would say uh, they would see this picture easy right and it saves a lot of time as well number four is immerse yourself in english why do you think we talk our native languages without any effort so it's because it was part of our life from day one so what you can do to speak english more you know fluently without even thinking about the things you're gonna say let it be part of your life and don't get me wrong it's not about learning from a book for an hour or so every day mm -mm, nope replace every single thing that you can do or that you usually do in your native language replace it with english let's say reading if you enjoy reading do it in english movies series even your to-do list your phone settings everything that you can do in english take it as a chance to learn and even when you think out loud think in english i used to do this a lot and believe me it really makes a difference especially for your self-confidence so when you go outside in the real world and you want to speak in english it will sound pretty normal for you because you are already used to hear yourself speaking in English. Number five is a simple activity that you can do for fun and it will also help you to think in English when speaking. Set the timer for one minute and check how many words you can say during that minute. You can do this at work, at home, at the bus station, when traveling, could be anywhere. And if one minute is like pretty easy for you, you can increase the time or to do it in full sentences, like how many full sentences you can say in one minute. And try to do this activity as fast as you can so that you don't give your brain the chance to think in your native language. I can never take care of my plants. Um, I didn't drink my coffee. It's been here since the morning. Oh, it's so cold right now. It's iced coffee. Uh, the weather is not nice today. I would prefer if it's snowy. I need to drink more water. 13 seconds. I have a timer here. Uh, I think it's getting hot here because I'm stressed. You don't have to be stressed. I have a lot of books here that I would love to have time to read this year. And yes, done. Number six, learn common expressions used among natives. This way you won't stress out yourself about thinking about ways to express yourself. It will just sound natural and flowy. For example, instead of struggling to explain yesterday, I invited some people and they came to my home. Mm -mm. Native speakers would simply say yesterday i had guests over it's as simple as that right so this was all for today i hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful and before i tell you about the giveaway please don't forget to support me by liking this video and pressing the subscribe button down below 
And since you've made it down here, you will have the chance to win a 45 minutes class with me live on Zoom. All what you have to do is to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and drop a comment down below and tell me which tip from this video was the best for you. And don't forget to add your email to the comments so I can contact you if you are the winner. Winners will be announced in 10 days. So good luck and see you in the next video. Bye bye. And then it will. Two love portions in.